Hi everyone, so I have a small haul to do today. Um, haven't done one in a while. It snowed, I don't even know how much exactly it was last night, but it was a good bit. So I didn't really get to go anywhere yesterday. So I went a couple places that I just had to go to today and I really wanted to go to the Dollar Tree because um, I hadn't been there in a while just to look around. And I found these really cool um, nails. They're like stick on nails. I found them there. I didn't get any though because they reminded me of um, something I already have. So I didn't get any but I wanted to show you guys so I kind of made a little video while I was in the Dollar Tree. It's not much but um, I'm going to throw the um, the little bit of video that I took at the Dollar Tree into this video so you can see the nails. And they didn't have a lot, but it was something different. I hadn't seen anyone haul them yet, so I wanted to show you guys and let you know maybe to check your Dollar Tree. Um, however, I found, I finally found uh, some of these. Hold on, let me find. I finally found the L'Oreal Project Runway nail stickers. I had seen people haul these for quite a while, and my Dollar Tree just now got some in. Um, I picked up the... Mystic, the Wise Mystic nail stickers, and I really liked these. They kind of have like a fishnet look to them, um, with like a little bit of purple and black. So I thought they were really pretty. Um, they had other ones, but these ones were my favorite and ones that I think that I would wear the most. So I got those, and they still, I mean, they have a lot of makeup and stuff like that and nail polishes at my Dollar Tree. However, I didn't really find anything that I I really wanted. So that was pretty much the only, well this isn't even makeup, but really the only thing that I had found like that. Um, but I just decided to look around some other places while I was there. And I found this deodorant. Um, in with the deodorants and this is just the Teen Spirit and it's by Lady Speed Stick in Pink Crush and I think this smells so good yeah it smells really really good it's very girly um, and even up here it says cute and girly and it definitely like it smells cute and girly I know it sounds really weird but I love how it smells so I decided to pick it up for a dollar um, I used Teen Spirit when I was younger. I don't really remember it being, like, bad. So, I just decided to pick it up. And they had a couple of these. Not many. So, I don't know. Um, people were probably buying them. I went really early this morning. Typically, I don't go so early. So, I don't know. Maybe since I went early, like, I got to kind of see things that I didn't typically see. Because it hadn't been picked through. But, I got that. And also at the Dollar Tree, I got two food items. I got this bag of sunflower seeds. These are roasted and salted sunflower seeds. I really like sunflower seeds. I had never had them until like, I don't know, it was a couple months ago actually. Um, my boyfriend had got some and I tried them and I absolutely loved them. So... Got a bag of these because I was kind of craving them, so they were a dollar. And then my boyfriend was along. He hates the Dollar Tree. Um, he was in the car for a while, and then I guess I was taking too long, so he came in to see what was holding me up. <laughs> but he decided he wanted this um, pack of chicken instant noodles. You get three... Um, three cups of noodles in here however 
these are only like 28 cents a piece at Walmart. Um, I don't think they're as large, maybe, but still, I think that you get a better deal if you buy these at Walmart than you would buying them at the Dollar Tree. So, um, I wouldn't really recommend buying these at the Dollar Tree unless, like, it was just readily available and you were there and you didn't want to make another trip to, um, Walmart. So, he got these, um, there. These are okay. I don't really care for them. I prefer, um, there's another kind of noodle that I like. So, anyway. Um, we also went to Walmart and we mainly got groceries and stuff like that. However, I ended up picking up this Wet n Wild coverall pressed powder and I had seen a lot of people um, rave about this powder. I had never used it before. Um, every time I went to the Dollar General up the street from me, I would always look at this and every powder that they had was broke and I would go again like a couple months later and they would never stock their shelves the same broken ass powder was always there and it would make me so angry so when I was at Walmart I finally just decided to pick that up there so I'm excited to try this I just got it in fair light so and then just randomly I found this orange crush hubba bubba bubble gum um, for 50 cents I used to love this stuff when I was younger. I don't typically chew gum anymore. I haven't chewed gum since I was like, you know, a teenager in high school. I used to chew gum all the time. I don't really anymore. Um, however, I decided, you know what, sometimes like I, I'll get hungry and I don't really want to eat because it's not really like time for me to eat, but um, I figured this would kind of like... Um, stop my food cravings as much so I won't eat as much if you know what I mean so got that 50 cents and then um, I went we went out to eat uh, for lunch at uh, my favorite bakery and they actually like sell things there as well and they'll have like gift sets and stuff with like um, little um, teapots and stuff and everything like that and they started selling measuring spoons and I got these and these are so pretty I had to get them they're so pretty I just can't get over how pretty they are just incredibly detailed I mean front and back and then they also have like the little engravings on the spoons to show you you know what size spoon it is so these were $17 but they're very nicely made they um, are pretty heavy and they're just so pretty. I had to get them. Um, I still had like $50 from my birthday in December because I kind of hoard my money. Um, just, I don't know why I do it. I just feel guilty, I guess, spending my money even though I don't know why. It's just how I've always been. So I just kind of hoard my money and then my money just will, the money that I'll get for like, my birthday and stuff, I'll just end up spending it on like groceries or something like that. I don't really typically buy stuff for myself so I was like you know what screw it I really want these spoons so I bought them and they are so cute so I got those and I don't know like who they're made by or anything like that or else I'd tell you guys so you could um find them but I really don't know anything about them and the last thing that I have to show is something incredibly boring, but I decided I'm going to start, like, throwing in some mail that I get. And I got some bubble envelopes in the mail. It's just, like, a pack of them. Um, there's 30 bubble envelopes in here. I got these off eBay. And they're just this size. Um, I ship a lot of things because I sell on eBay. And then I also send a lot of friend mails and stuff like that. And the, this size is like perfect for small items, so got these, and buying bubble envelopes off eBay is a lot cheaper than getting them in the store. If you go to like the Dollar Tree, you're going to pay like a dollar for two, and I got this whole um, thing of um, 30 uh, envelopes for like eight dollars with free shipping, so it's definitely a better deal to get them on eBay if you use bubble envelopes a lot or even if you don't it's still a good deal because you'll have them for when you want to ship stuff out so that is my 
haul. I wanted to do a couple videos today. Um, that's obviously the only haul I'm going to have. However, I wanted to do a review on the hair curlers that I got for Christmas because I haven't done that yet. So I might do that. But anyway, um, I was going to make the hair curler video. So I think I'm going to do that later. Um, so keep an eye out for that. I will have it posted at some point. And I hope you guys like this video and I will see you next time.